hello guys welcome to my channel so remember we did unboxing of this um blender sq professional and so today we are going to have a review on it and see how it works do you get it i have some ingredients here i have onions i have i have ginger garlic peppers i have spring onions and also tomatoes and other things that you are going to blend so we'll see how it works so i'll scoop and then pour it in there i'll just pour into the blender now i have this natural spices here i'm going to add some to it This is the cover and I'm going to cover it. Let's start it. So this is the pause button. So One thing for me about blenders is that when you are using a blender, blend small, allow it to relax a bit, then you continue. That is how I use my blenders. So my, my blenders, they do keep long. The numbers are up to 10. We are going to take it to all the numbers and see how it will work. Okay, so open it for us to see the results. So this is the outcome. This is the outcome. You see? Mm -hmm. So now we are going to try the bell peppers and the spring onions i have some of the natural spices here now when i was blending the first one the experience that i got i would not advise that you use this blender to blend these natural spices rather get a spice grinder and use it i have the spices grinder here i'm going to pour it in grind it and then add it to it and blend it well okay so here is it i'm going to add it so this is the result as you can see and when you look at the ingredients we've blended so much this after i use this a bit more Okay, so look at it. Yes, you can see some of the tomato seeds and pepper seeds in there. You see, this is the one I increased the water quantity. You see, so that one wasn't well blended, it's not really smooth because I increased the water quantity. You see okay so it means when you are using it to blend don't use too much water so that it can blend very well for you it, the other ones are better compared to this one so my garlic didn't even blend you see okay okay so now i have this cooked carrot here we are going to blend it and see the results that we will get do you get it okay what are the liquid that i'm going to use to blend mm -hmm. Carrot and turmeric. One thing is, if 
this side doesn't lock this part it's supposed to lock if it doesn't lock when you blend it or not blend do you get it so this is the result it's very smooth mm -hmm. and i think because it's cooked you see it's very smooth i also have some frozen bananas here we are going to blend i'm making a juice so i'll add it to it you see mm -hmm. my liquid and this liquid is from the carrots drink that i'm making i'm adding the pineapple to it This is it. Then is with the pineapple. I took the core part, mm? Mm -hmm. the one that that usually give off chap. The core part. I took it from it and blended it. So you can see, it's smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So this is it for the blender. It's advisable you use it to blend soft things and not hard things. It's good for smoothies and others. I'll bring you a review on the food processor. Bye-bye.